on this record day. Nice to be on on a record positive day, isn't it, where we saw the Dow soaring at one point. In fact, it was up over 1,600 points, gaining over 5.5%. So, Chris, what do you make of the action today? Well, you know, Nicole, I think that the economic data has been good for quite some time now. Uh, in my experience, the market is always looking for certainty. And with a, with a, with a somewhat certain uh, election outcome, and combined with the fact that it looks like we're going to be getting a vaccine, a lot of this economic data that nobody's really talking about is really starting to come to light. So, for example, you know, right now companies are really focused on earnings. Um, just over the, in the month of October, we had 62 dividend increases um, actually over the past week. You know, not to mention that corporate earnings or corporate spendings anticipate to grow by about 10 percent next year. Yeah, six, yeah, I saw that 62 dividend increases. Um, you know, a lot of the companies that we've been watching have been doing layoffs. They had to reduce their dividend and people love to invest in the dividend aristocrats, those that keep raising over 25 years. Um, is now a time for investment as you see corporate spending, I know, is something you're watching and a little bit of a bounce back. What about investing here? Well, I mean, I think we're starting to see a, a lot of, you know, techs sort of led the, led the charge here, but, you know, we're starting to see a lot of industries start to come back. So, you know, particularly on the value side, like the travel and leisure industry is starting to come back a little bit. In fact, uh, 271,000 jobs were added back in just from that area of the market. And I think we can all agree that was the area that was probably hit the hardest. But, I mean, if you look at, you know, travel and leisure, you look at places like value, international, emerging markets, real estate, we're all still relatively inexpensive, um, and you know, at some point, they're going to start to run. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we have a lot of earnings coming up too. I'm just watching some. I saw DraftKings on that list. What about technology? I mean, it's certainly been the group people love to watch. It leads us on the way up. It leads us on the way down. Do you like tech? And what else would you say should be in your portfolio? Uh, I do like tech as, a, as part of a, a broader diversified portfolio. I think at this point, tech is really starting to get a little bit overvalued as it relates to their earnings. You know, for example, like Tesla, um, Zoom, those companies I feel like have really had a big run here. But I think, you know, the better value is, again, as I said earlier, places like value, um, international emerging markets, you know, all those are relatively cheap right now. And in comparison to things like growth, they actually pay a dividend, whereas growth doesn't pay as much of a dividend. Right. No, I see what you're saying. Also, consumer confidence is something you were watching. It's at, at obviously very high levels, and we're seeing retailers doing well and cruise lines doing well. Tell me about how important the consumer is here and the, the sentiment, the feeling, the mindset, because we're having obviously somewhat of a resurgence of COVID. And, um, you know, we need a strong consumer to get everything open and to make it all happen. Well, I think there's a combination of things. Uh, as you pointed out, consumer confidence is, is higher than it's ever been since uh, up, up 57% since 1990. And you know, a couple of things are going on. If people are starting to go back to work, we'll probably get some kind of a stimulus package over the next few months. So, and you know, we've got the holiday season coming up. So, and you can never really underestimate our ability to spend money. So I think with the combination of those things, people going back to work, um, I, I think, and, the, and also with the, with the possibility of a vaccine coming, I'm really optimistic about consumer spending.